We have the Buffalo Bills taking on the Washington Commanders in Washington. This is your week three 2023 prediction and preview video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Also hit the like button. This right here is going to be a very good game. It could be the game of the week. Let's start off with the home team, the Washington Commanders. They look good. They started the season off a little slow in week one. When they beat the Arizona Cardinals 16-20, to 20, you expect for them to do some better things. But the Cardinals are one of those teams that's playing very good football right now. Then they come back in week two. And all the wheels fell off in the first half. They were down 21-3. to three, And they come back and win the game 35-33. They're riding that momentum right now. And this is a very hot team. So the Buffalo Bills have to be careful how they treat this team. Offensively, they have to do a better job of protecting Sam Howell. Back-to-back weeks, he's gotten hit a lot behind his offensive line. And I understand the Buffalo Bills are still without Von Miller. They're waiting to take him off the PUP list. But they can still get pressure with guys like Ed Oliver and Greg Russo. Be careful with that. The offensive line has to protect Sam Howell and also open up some rushing lanes as well. They struggled to run the football early on against the... Denver Broncos, but in the second half, Brian Robinson Jr. came out and he looked very good. Had two rushing touchdowns in that game and he pretty much carried away in the second half. I expect him to come out and do some big things as well to run the football with him and Antonio Gibson, who has basically been phased out of this offense. I need to see more of Antonio Gibson. He's a very good running back and he's too talented not to get some carries with this team. Now, Logan Thomas. It is questionable for this game because Kareem Jackson continues to just headhunt every single person he sees on the field. Hopefully the NFL take, takes care of that. He is questioning for this game, but they still have some good tight ends on this team that can fill in that void. I'm looking at guys like Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, who didn't do much last game, but Terry McLaurin did. He had a beautiful touchdown in the game and looked very good. I'm expecting for him to come out and make some big plays against this Buffalo Bills defense, even though this defense is tough. I think that Eric Bieniemy is a very good offensive coordinator. He's a head coach, in my opinion, posing as an offensive coordinator, and he's going to adjust things on the fly. But come out with some screen passes, alleviate that aggressiveness of the defense of the Buffalo Bills, and target those linebackers in space to try to get those guys going. You can do something similar to what the New your just did with Zach Wilson try to run the football because they struggled immensely against the New York Jets to run the football even though they made Josh Jacobs life a living hell last week now defensively they have a defense that can stop Josh Allen I really do or just contain Josh Allen their defense of the Washington Commanders, they can get home. They can sack the quarterback. They were getting home to Russell Wilson, and they got home to Josh Dobbs as well. Chase Young is fully healthy right now. So you have Montez Sweat, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Chase Young. They can get home without sending the blitz. So I expect for that to happen. Try to take the run away. Last week, the Buffalo Bills did a very good job of running the football against the Las Vegas Raiders, try to take that away and make Josh Allen frustrated. Make it hard for him to see the field because when Josh Allen gets frustrated and those things happen, look at what happened in the New York Jets games. That's when the interceptions are prone to happen. I'm looking at guys like Cameron Curl at the safety position who's the playmaker. He's a guy that can get some interceptions in this game. Jamin Davis, who's a very good linebacker, had a very good game last week when they blitzed him and sent him towards getting the quarterback in Russell Wilson. So I'm expecting for this defense to play very aggressive, but they have to be careful with watches to find digs in place as well. So the biggest thing is put pressure on Josh Allen and make it tough for him seeing the field. Now let's talk about the Buffalo Bills. Week one was a disaster. They lost the game by punt return in overtime. Josh Allen just throwing the ball up all over the place, had three interceptions. But they backdoored it against the Las Vegas Raiders and let all their frustrations out. They brutalized the Las Vegas Raiders in every way possible. And Josh Allen showed that he is still a top quarterback in the NFL. We can't sleep on him. He just had one bad week. Now, last week, the game plan worked in their favor. They won the game 38-10. to 10. Josh Allen today was 31 for 37, 274 yards, and three touchdowns passing. But what is one thing that helped out Josh Allen? That run game of James Cook. 17 carries, 123 rushing yards, 7 yards a carry. And they also gave Damon Harris the ball as well for 7 carries and 33 yards. So guess what you need to do? Continue to run the football in a two tight end set situation with guys like Donald Kincaid and Dawson Knox. Donald Kincaid had 5 catches for 43 yards and Dawson Knox had 3 catches, 10 yards and a touchdown. Gabriel Davis also had a touchdown as well. Continue to work Josh Allen into the two tight end system. It can work. I really think that they're going to be in a good situation here. It limits the turnovers that Josh Allen can throw. Can throw. 
if you're going out and you're running the football with a Damon Harris and a James Cook. So try to establish a run, stay in that two tight end set, work on play action, and keep the pressure away from Josh Allen. Keep him inside the pocket so he can fully read the defense and get things going. When he was throwing interceptions against New York Jets in week one, a lot of it was him drifting outside the pocket. But inside the pocket, he made some nice plays. Look at the last drive against the New York Jets that Monday night game. When they were going into overtime, he was very good in that quick situation. When he was just standing in the pocket and pressure wouldn't get to him. Going to Stephon Diggs, going to Gabriel Davis. Go back to that. I think that's the Josh Allen that can get this team far in the playoffs. So continue to run the two tight end set, run the football, and keep Josh Allen up right. Now defensively, they look good in both games. Yes, they struggled to stop the run against the New York Jets, but they were gassed because of the turnovers. But they looked good against the Las Vegas Raiders. They made the leading rusher have negative yards on the day. And we have to give it up to guys like Ed Oliver and Greg Russo in that game. I'm expecting for them to have a big game in this game as well. Because you're going against a commander's team that has a very up and down offensive line. Some drives the offensive line looks good, other drives they don't. And with Sean McDermott now calling the plays with Larry, Leslie Frazier taking the year off, they've been more aggressive. I think they're going to go out there and try to beat up on a young quarterback of the Washington Commanders, put pressure on him, and try to take some of these weapons away. I expect for Davis White to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one looks with Terry McLaurin, but you also have to take away Jahan Dawson as well and Curtis Samuel if he's able to play in this game. Watch those playmakers in space and do not let those guys get behind you because one thing that happened last week with the Commanders, they are getting a lot of big chunk plays in the second half. Do not let them ride the wave of momentum from those last two games and let them bring it over. Slow the game down and make Sam Howe take the check downs. Guard those things deep and guard the intermediate routes as well. Make him be a patient quarterback. With that being said, this is one of the hardest games to call because both of these teams are very good. If the New York Jets did not get a punt return, I don't want to be that guy, but if they, didn't get a, if they did not get a punt return, the Buffalo Bills possibly would have won that game. I have to watch the Commanders upsetting the Buffalo Bills here by a field goal. I think they win this game 24 to 21, but let me know in the comment section below, who do you have winning this game, the Washington Commanders or the Buffalo Bills? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, I want each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.